Every season is the season of goodwill among staff at schools in Leicester who are helping feed families. It's a very special assembly today, it's our six hours assembler. And at Stokeswood Primary in New Parks, it's the staff who are buying food as well as collecting donations. Ella, our sort of family support worker, she was having quite a number of families coming to her, at desperate, on a Friday particularly, that not sure how they were going to feed the children over the weekend. So they collected the food and as quickly as it comes in, it goes out to those most in need. The cupboard, it's now full and Anybody who's struggling can come to the school now and can take something home to give their children something to eat. Parents are also given advice and information by the school on how to get the help which may be out there during the holidays. For those that need it, um, you know, it, it's excellent to know that there's that help there. Well, they couldn't be better, really. They're, they're fantastic, they're really supportive, they encourage the children, um, they're always there whenever you need them. The government should be helping, it shouldn't be down to teachers. It should be the government. Labour say staff shouldn't be paying out their own pockets and schools should be funded better to help those who need extra support. Which is why we've proposed ending the unfair tax loopholes that private schools benefit from so we can put £1.7 billion into schools so that they can really give children the best start in life. In the East Midlands, according to the Independent Schools Council, there are 69 private schools teaching almost 25,000. They say Labour's plan will be a tax on education and it would have a terrible effect. To suddenly put the burden of a 20% VAT fees rise on those parents would almost certainly um, lead to numerous families moving out of independent schools back into the state system. So far from create money for the state, that would reduce the tax take and it would increase the cost to the taxpayer who would then have to pay for those state places for those children. For many, the problem right now this Christmas is making ends meet. It's becoming harder for staff here, especially teaching assistants, yet they've decided not to give presents to each other they'll give presents to children instead. And with the prices going up, they themselves are wondering what they'll do. So they're thinking of cutting back, but they still put their hands in their pockets to help with the donations and help with the children. It's really good. The government is funding four days of activity and food over Christmas. A hundred are expected to be here each day, looked after by teaching and office staff working in the holidays. Tony Rowe, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.